it's Monday. We're back from therapy. And drop off uh, some restaurant knives. We picked up uh, three more restaurant knives. Two serrated ones. And a Dexter chef's knife. And one shun. Santuco. It's got a couple little chips along the blade. But you can see the tip's broken off of it. And that was my guy's main concern was putting the tip back on it. And he apparently he uses it every day. He wants it back in about two hours. So I got to go to work on that. And I'm going to do these, of course, at the same time. I'm waiting for a guy to bring me a Cutco serrated knife of some sort. I think I already told you he wants to cut the serrations off of it and make a fish fillet knife out of it. He's supposed to be here in a half hour if he shows up. So stand by, we'll see how it goes. Well, I picked up uh, the first set of knives. It's a whole block of wood sauce. Less one parent knife. He said he lost his parent knife. He don't know where it went. I think it's... So I guess it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, eight or nine. I don't know. I didn't count them. I just know it's a whole block of them. And now I'm on my way to... Pick up some more. So stand by. We'll see what this other lady has for us. Well, I got three Wustoffs and another Henkel International from, I forgot, Spain maybe. I'll show him to you in a minute. I'm getting ready to meet Chris now. She's driving for the first time. She's taking her car to the Subaru dealership and I'm meeting her. To get the new airbag, driver side airbag. No, passenger side airbag. Maybe both. I don't know. They got a recall on them. Is all I know. I'll get back to you. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a little breezy and about in mid 50s, so its temperatures dropped. You know, 20 degrees from what it has been. Later. Well, as I wait for Chris to show up, we might as well take a look at these tickets. We got a Ulstoff slicer. We got a nice Ulstoff chef's knife. That was in pretty good condition. And here's the only Henkel. It's from Spain International, a big slicer. And last but not least is a little Wustoff pair knife. Never seen the dishwasher, just as nice and nice as you could want. They're just dull. And here's a whole block of Wustoffs. I'm not going to take them out while I'm in this parking lot. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten knives and one pair of scissors. Four steak knives. And I guess these are. Like big pears or something, you know. And this one is a utility type knife. And there's a serrated knife. Bread knife, I think that's what that is. It's in relatively good shape. Man, I don't have to do much to that baby. Okay, that's it. I'm waiting for the guy to pick up his shun too. I brought that along, the one I put the tip on this morning. He's supposed to meet us here. Okay, I'll get back to you. Well, here's the first set of knives we picked up. No, actually, second set. It's three wood stalls and a hankle. International from Spain. And that's all the uh, wood stalls alone. We got a chef, a santuco, a bread knife, a slicer, a utility, and four steak knives. And they have had some use. The rest of the knives aren't too bad. But the steak knives are in need of TLC. The bread knife is in excellent shape. I may not even do anything to that. 
It's dangerous, razor sharp. What they never used it, maybe. That's the end of the day, Rancho Max. It's a shade uh, before five. Chris's car is in the shop. Her first day at driving. Maybe a spin is in the future tomorrow. The tide is really low right now. And this stuff doesn't have to go back till Wednesday. So I have to tomorrow off. <laughs> so to speak. I'll see how it goes. I gotta take the boys out, play a little ball, you know how that goes. It's that time of day. Oh, they're wagging their tails. Come on, Taffy. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Look at them. They're ready that way. Tell them. Arr.